Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to episode 1 of Battlefield 3 in depth. Today we're going to be talking about bullet drop, and I thought that this was the very best topic to lead into Battlefield 3 in depth because the bullets in this game behave very differently than most other first person shooters today. The bullet mechanics are different from COD, they're different from Gears, Resistance, Counter Strike, and Half Life, and all these other games. So, without further ado, let's get to talking about these bullets. The very first thing you need to know is that all the bullets in Battlefield 3 are projectiles. Unlike Counter-Strike, uh, Resistance, or Call of Duty that use hit scans. Hit scans essentially scan the end of your barrel of your gun to determine where you're pointing it, where you shot, like old Duck Hunt. All the bullets in Battlefield 3 are legitimate projectiles. They're very fast projectiles, so when I slow these clips down, you can actually see the bullets traveling over range. And not only that, but they took the time to program in the force of gravity, pulling the bullets down and causing them to arc over range and it takes a bit of time to go from their initial to ending location so that's really going to change how you have to shoot in this game. This is going to affect you the most when sniping. If you notice here the bullets are hitting this guy or the wall behind him at a slightly lower level than where the actual crosshairs are aiming that's because they're falling over distance and if you notice a discrepancy between when I pull the trigger and the person dies that's because of the time that it takes for the bullet to travel there. Generally speaking sniper rifle bullets travel faster and drop less than assault rifle, pistol, or light machine gun bullets, but the range that you use a sniper rifle at is a lot more ridiculous, so it does show up more. Kind of like real sniping, you may have to lead your targets a little bit, you need to aim above their head. This next clip was almost perfect. I am just perfectly above this guy's head and let him just a smidge. Got a headshot. Very, very nice looking. Technically speaking, the effects of bullet drop are way more pronounced on assault rifles, light machine guns, and submachine guns over range. However, you don't use these guns at that kind of range very often. Maybe, especially not in this beta, but in the real game there'll be some instances, especially with the assault rifle and the light machine guns, you'll want to do that. You'll do just like the assault rifles, just aim a little over their head. You'll need to lead the target a little bit more because the assault rifle bullets aren't quite as fast. But for 95% of your engagements with any other weapon, I wouldn't even worry about bullet drop, especially close range. There's just no point in even pretending that it exists if you do stuff like lead your target or aim above their heads and in any of those sort of tactics you're just going to totally miss and screw yourself up. When the full game comes out and there's vehicles and you have support guys on your team shooting at helicopters with light machine guns, the bullet lag and the drop are going to be a lot more important, but for picking off people I really just wouldn't worry about it. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Next episode, we're going to be doing health and damage. I'd appreciate it if you would say thank you to OKC King, Tony to B72, and I'm 1 to the 337. They hopped in the open lobby with me. Join the other team and let me snipe at them in order to test some of these things out to make sure that I gave you guys the right information. So please be sure to tell them thank you. There's going to be more episodes of Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 in depth in the future. Drifter out.